So as you can see, the starboard side is much more together. There's still the same, a little bit of a hang in the catch that the port side had, but it is not as distinct. There is definitely a hang right there, hang. That was a little better, that one's better. It's better, here we are in the middle of a 10 here. Pillar's coming up. So I'd like to see it working from the stern. I'd like to see LVR generate a little bit longer stroke all the way into the finish. If you backed up this film a little bit, you would see. If you backed up this film a little bit, you would see that at the higher rating, LVR is starting to chop it off a little bit. Okay. And you can see here coming into the body, you know, it could be a little bit longer. We could come a little bit longer into the body. Some of that could be because the boat is maybe feeling a little heavy today. But, but David, I would probably look at that, look at that right around the body, see if you can uh, lengthen that out a little bit. You're gonna have to get it by getting a little bit better suspension through the middle part of the drive. This is pretty good. Good release. You know, the catch could be a little bit quicker as we've talked about. Jeremy, nice catch on that one. Nice catch on that one. It's good. In general, Jeremy, pretty good. You know, uh, could be a little bit longer in the front end with a shoulder rotation. The tendency for you when you get tired, see how you got a little bit of shoulder motion at the catch going forward? That tends to get much more distinct when you get tired. So see that? There's a little bit of shoulder motion, Jeremy, at the catch. See that? A little bit forward, shoulder, and down. See that? What we want to do is turn that around into the rigger. So instead of going down, we want to go left. But I mean, fairly, you know, fairly good release. The leverage is pretty good. You could get it squared up earlier. That was a good one. You can see there's just a slight hesitation, just like everybody else. Okay, then Stanley and Som. Fairly consistent. The timing is pretty nice at the catch. You see how some you're generating nice hang and leverage now. That's good. You could probably turn a little bit more into the rigger, although that's fairly good. I'd say only about five percent more. That was one with a back open early, Chris. On that last one, they had a back open a little early on that one too. So these are ongoing things. Stanley, it looks like you're trying to engage the back and arms. But it does look like we're taking the catch. See how the catch is definitely kind of rode in or it's not really towards the bow. Watch the blade. See how the blade is catching water on the drive? A little bit, just a little. It's, a, it's, a, it's slight. You're going to have to really look. There, see how it's catching water on the drive rather than on the recovery? What I mean is, you could back it in, you could square it up earlier, square now. Little, see how you're later, square now. That was, the square was good there, but it was more of a hang to get it in. Okay, and now the biggest thing for you though, Stanley, is generating this leverage that we've been working on. You see how SOM in the front end generates generates nice front end connection and then he's working on slinging it into the body a little bit better for you you tend to hang that catch just slightly and miss touch of water which hurts you getting that leverage at the front end so if you can stop doing any missing water at the front end you'll be able to generate good leg drive and then engage those lats little see how it's rode in slightly just slightly see that just slightly hung and rode in some you want to keep the body up, it's good. 